In order to further understand the well being and avoid uh, diseases, let us understand the notion of self in more detail. Because well being is experienced in the self. In order to experience well being, we must understand the notion of self. Once we have better understanding of self, we can do something about that. So, notion of self. Uh, in the yogic tradition is uh, accepted in the form of panch kosha. Panch means five, kosha means layers or sheets. These koshas are annamaya kosh, pranamaya kosh, manomaya kosh, vijnanamaya kosh and anandamaya kosh. Annamaya kosh is the most gross form of the self that is uh, comprises of the physical body and that is that comes to in existence uh, through food we eat. The second layer is uh, pranamaya kosh energetic field uh, that gives energy to all uh, three koshas uh, that is comparable to the biomagnetic field and that is also explained in the form of chakras and nadis and combination of that. Manomaya kosh is sheath or aspect of self which is reflected in emotions, feelings, likes, dislikes, fear, phobias, etcetera. So, that is a day to day experience of our mind, regular experience of the mind and wisdom and higher mind is reflected in the Vijnanamaya Kosh or we can say Vijnanamaya Kosh is the reflection of wisdom or higher mind and that is related to inner conscience, inner voice, values intellect and anandamaya kosh is the supreme the subtlest part uh, that is reflected in the bliss being self the true nature as it is called. So, these five koshas are also clubbed into three shariras three bodies uh, sthul sharir, sukshma sharir and karan sharir. Sthul sharir sthul meaning gross. So, anandamaya kosh and pranamaya kosh makes the sthul sharir. Uh, sukshma sharir is predominantly pranamaya kosh, manomaya kosh and vijnanamaya kosh and anandamaya kosh is part of the causal body. It is also called karan sharir, karan means cause and ultimate cause of uh, emergence of self is the brahman uh, or in the sankh it is called purusha that is the most reflected in the and that is the most the, the most refined reflection of purusha in the human self is anandamaya kosh and that is connected to the that is actually a reflection of the uh, uh, purusha and that is why it is called karan sharir the cause of emergence and reflection of all other four koshas. So, sthul sharir, sukshma sharir, karan sharir which is constituted of these five koshas is also one way of looking at self which is followed in the yogic tradition. Uh, in the general of uh, uh, evolution uh, same notion is explained and I thought of uh, giving this reference uh, giving the reference of this paper as well. Uh, so, that those who are interested to read further can, uh, can read can download. So, so, that those who are interested to know further they can uh, note down and download this paper. So, let us look at these koshas step by step. So, annamaya kosh as I told is a constituted and sustained by fruit, sustained by food and that is the grossest of all koshas. Pranamaya kosh is the vital body that is the basis of experience of the flow of energy in our system and world around us. You might have noticed that many a time two people suffer from same disease, they might be of the same age group, they might be both diagnosed correctly, might have given uh, 
right and appropriate medicine, but still one person takes longer time, longer, uh, longer time for recovery and another person gets recover quickly. That can be inferred, that can be one example of the difference in prana, the strength of the pranamaya kosh. Pranamaya kosh uh, as explained in the yogic tradition is also reflected, it is also talked about in the form of chi chi or uh, chai in the Japanese tradition as well as in the Chinese tradition. Pranamaya kosh is understood in a very sophisticated way in the yogic tradition. There are 17 types of pranas being described in the yogic tradition, but five they can be clubbed into the five. So, we are going to look at uh, this five uh, the typology of the five pranamaya pranas. These are vyan, udan, pran, saman and apan. So, udan is active in the topmost area of the body uh, that governs the physical senses, mental strength, speech, uh, these activities. Lower to udan is pran and pran, the location of pran is uh, described to be between the diaphragm and throat and that controls the respiration, sensory perception and the distribution of the energy to other forms of pranas. Saman is responsible for uh, distribution and that is uh, supposed to be located around the uh, uh, stomach and the uh, lower, lower to the uh, diaphragm area and that is uh, the controller of the circulation uh, of the blood and the circulation of the senses in nerves. Apan is the uh, in terms of the location, it is lowest, it is related to elimination, birthing, menstruation and these activities are governed by apan pran. These are further divided, we are not going to discuss it at this stage, but uh, uh, those who are interested can suddenly find literature in the uh, further division of these pranas. Then comes Manomaya Kosh. This is even subtler than Pranamaya Kosh and of course, Annamaya Kosh. Manas and the five cognitive sense organ which are sight, hearing, touch, smell and taste, this is the constituent of the Manomaya Kosh. Uh, the sphere of feeling, dream, hopes, uh, sorrow, pleasure, pain, all that occurs in this layer of self. Vijnanamaya Kosh is even subtler than Manomaya Kosh. It is related to knowledge and wisdom. It makes use of our intelligence and discriminative ability and the five cognitive senses. Compassion, intelligence, intuition, wisdom, these all are reflections of uh, Vijnanamaya Kosh. To help in understanding action according to what is right and what is wrong, that decision also takes place in the Vijnanamaya Kosh. Last or we can say the final sheath is Anandamaya Kosh. This is the sheath of bliss around the soul or the causal body. Uh, that is associated with and yet a finer level of consciousness. So, this is not soul. So, actually in the uh, yogic tradition, Atma is the current Sharir. Atma resides in the individual being. That is the reflection of the Param Purush as described in the Sankhya, uh, in, uh, in the Vedanta. Brahman is uh, uh, reflected in the Jivatma. Uh, so, Jivatma is the Karan Sharir, the closest to Karan Sharir is the Anandamaya Kosh. The, the, the subtlest uh, layer which distinguishes self and the Brahman or Prakriti and the Purusha, if we follow the Sankhya tradition, that is the uh, layer of Anandamaya Kosh. 
when consciousness is refined and when we when our experience is anchored in this kosh, joy and bliss and uh, non localized as well as without the happiness without any reason and this kosh is beyond knowledge and experience and beyond mind. It is the state of total harmony with the internal and external environment even as when one is engaged in action. It is about being, it is not about having something or doing something, it is the uh, uh, substratum of being on which everything else occurs. So, the question of managing mind is about managing all four koshas or we can say the managing life is about managing all four koshas. I am talking about four koshas that can be managed. Anandamaya kosh is difficult to manage. If we manage four koshas, Anandamaya kosh naturally uh, gets experienced in ourself. So, whether it is physical ailment or mental ailment, it is caused at these four koshas and if we have to experience well-being, we have to work on these koshas.